I really appreciate what you're doing for me. Please let me know as soon as you find any information on my brother. Jenny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials... Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. Makes my teeth tingle. Sure is peaceful here. The keepers never paid much attention to that relay monument. I always found that a little strange. The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information 
And it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do, but this would be easy work for you and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you.
human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. I think I'll be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Sounds like they got what they deserved. I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2,200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? 
I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. should I know? It's not like Keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, Three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show. Not much crime up here. Sure is peaceful here. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. 